Hi, I'm Michael Walton, Application Engineer at Rigel Medical and today we're going to do a short video of electrical safety testing with the Rigel 288 Plus Electrical Safety Analyzer. The Rigel 288 Plus is an electrical safety analyzer. Its main features are that it tests to IEC 60601, IEC 62353, NFPA 99 and IEC 61010. It is mains or battery powered. It provides leakage testing, insulation testing and earth slash ground bond testing to satisfy the standards. It's small, compact with direct printing via Bluetooth connectivity. The purpose of this video is to highlight the differences when testing under IC60601 and IC62353 when testing a medical device. We will identify the classification of the medical device. Is it class one? Is it class two? We will also identify the type of the medical device. Is it a type B? Is it a type BF? Is it a type CF? Before we do any testing, we'll also do a full visual of the medical device to make sure there are no obvious signs of contamination or damage that could lead to electrical or mechanical failure. The 288 Plus provides a clinical engineer with either auto sequence testing or manual mode testing. The tests available are earth bond and insulation. Insulation is not generally a mandatory test. Specific to 60601, we have earth leakage, we have enclosure leakage, we have patient leakage, we have patient auxiliary leakage, and we have F type leakage. Specific to IC 62353, we have three leakage methods we have direct method, we have differential method, and we have alternative method. Under test today, is this ECG monitor which is a 12 lead ECG monitor and has 10 applied parts. The applied parts are connected to the applied part adapter box which is attached to our 288 Plus. The equipment under test is plugged into our device under test socket. The 288 Plus is powered by mains and we have the earth bond attached to the earth reference point of the ECG monitor. We're going to power the 288 device on once we're satisfied with all of the connections. We're going to press F4 to highlight auto mode. Then we're going to enter the asset ID that is on the medical device. We're going to select the classification of the medical device. In this case it is class 1 device and we're going to test under IEC 6 or 601. Test period will be 12 months. Then we're going to press F1 to highlight the 10 CF connections. Once we're satisfied with the asset details and the test setup, we will press F4. The first test in the sequence will be an earth bond test. And we'll just follow the on-screen prompts on the 288 Plus device. The device will give us some readings and it'll go through each test sequence in order of Earth bond run test, which it will measure the functional current of the device. Then it'll proceed through earth leakage, enclosure leakage, patient leakage, patient auxiliary leakage, patient F type leakage, and go through all of the single fault conditions.
once the test sequence is complete and we're satisfied with the results because if we monitor the 288 plus through its automatic sequence we can see the pass fail thresholds we can see all of the readings on the screen and that will give us an indication of passes or fail we are prompt with um, enter user comments once you're satisfied with the testing we can save the results and they will be stored in the 288's memory or we have the facility to print out a label and a set of results from a Bluetooth printer. Now we're going to do the 62353 test sequence. So again, we will select F4, we will enter the asset ID, we will select the classification, and for the purpose of this testing, I will select class 1 direct method leakage. The direct method leakage is comparable to 60601 leakage tests. The run mode I'm going to leave as automatic. The test period I'm going to leave to 12 months. And I'm going to leave the default CF10 applied parts. Then we're going to, once we're satisfied with our test setup, we're going to prompt the start of the test, make sure everything is connected, and follow the prompts on the 288 device. After the earth bond, we do a load test, which is a functional test, followed by the direct equipment leakage test, followed by a direct AP applied part leakage test. It'll do reverse mains. Then once the end of the sequence is complete and we're satisfied with our readings, and our pass fails, we can again either enter user comments and save those results to the 288's memory. So the difference between IEC 60601 and IEC 62353, the comparison clearly shows that there is a massive time saving opportunity when testing to 62353. Thank you for watching the video. For more information, please visit our website. And for news and events, please follow us on social media. Thank you.